Welcome back to Gallery of Guns. In this segment, we're going to look at a scaled down auto loading pistol that's the spitting image of a great American classic. Well, here's a pistol that looks very familiar, but Chris, there's something missing, isn't there? That's right, Anne Marie. There's about 15% missing. 15%, all right. Hello, everybody. I'm Anne Marie Rhodes, and today I'm joined by Chris Mudgett, managing editor of Guns and Ammo. So, Chris, when you say there's 15% missing, what do you mean by that? Sure, Amory. Browning's 1911-22A1 looks just like a 45 1911, but it's only 85% of the size of the original. It's scaled proportionally, and the look and feel is preserved, except for it fires 22 long rifle ammunition. It has a four and a half inch barrel, which fans will recognize to be a commander length. It has a polymer frame, and it weighs only 15 ounces compared to a full size 1911, which weighs 39 ounces. Very nice. What is the advantage of reducing the size? Well, Amory, one of the advantages of reducing the size of the pistol is so it, it will actually function when firing 22 long rifle ammunition. You see, the original 1911 was designed to fire full power, 230 grain, 45 ACP ammunition, as opposed to 22 long rifle, which is generally in the 36 to 40 grain category. The slide is all aluminum with a steel insert, which is a lot lighter and helps the ammunition get moving. Get moving, that's good. But otherwise, it looks just like other 1911s we fired in the show, right? That's exactly right, Amory. But before we take a look at the pistol, I'd really like to do a quick safety check. Thank you. Okay. All the controls are exactly the same. It has a grip safety and a thumb safety. The slide stop and barrel bushing all work the same. The difference is the full size operates off of a locked breech with a tilting barrel versus the 1911-22, which is a straight blowback pistol with a fixed barrel. So the magazine holds 10 rounds, right? That's correct, Amory, and it's simple to load and it operates very smoothly. It has an all steel body and a coil follower. The magazine release button and trigger mimic the 1911 with a short reset. And what I really like is the arched mainspring. Yep, you were talking about that earlier. And it even takes down like a big 1911. That's correct, Amory. No tools are necessary. All that you need to do is depress the plunger, rotate the barrel bushing out of the way, be careful not to lose that plunger. Move the slide to the rear and align the notch with a takedown lever. Move that from right to left, just like so, and the slide comes right off. Very nice. I found it to be easy to shoot when we were out on the range, and I think it would be the perfect pistol for practicing your shooting technique without buying expensive 45 ammo. That's exactly correct, Amory. The 85% scale makes the 1911-22A1 an excellent size for women or young shooters without being too small for those used to a full-size 1911. Absolutely. Browning really hit the mark with this one in making it a good choice for just about any shooter. Whether you are a beginner or you've been shooting a 1911 for years, you'll find this one fills the bill for fun and formal target shooting or plinking. If the Browning 1911-22A1 looks like the answer to your pistol problems, simply log on to the Gun Genie at www.galleryofguns.com. Enter your zip code and the Gun Genie will work its magic and display a list of Gallery of Guns affiliated dealers in your area. Simply order with American Express, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa and your gun will arrive at your dealer in as little as 48 hours. Then you'll be off to the range. Don't touch that remote because there's a lot more to come on Gallery of Guns.